and Kim here with Whiny Women doing a review tonight on this beautiful Memorial Day weekend. I have to have a little more of my glass. I pre-poured, but I need more. Um, setting off the weekend, you gotta, you gotta have barbecue on Memorial Day, and luckily this whole weekend has been amazing. There was no wind today. It was awesome. Um, so we're going to be pouring a little 2009 Viognier from Vino Salida Cellars there in Salida, Colorado. Thanks to Steve Flynn, who is the owner and the winemaker. I appreciate it, Steve, for uh, entrusting in me to do these videos. So I'm anxious to get started. Like I said, we're having pulled pork tonight. So I am, I'm hungry. So for one, I want to eat. So I'm doing my wine reviews. Um, but tonight we're going to do the 2009 Viognier from Vino Salida there in Salida, Colorado. And um, I like Viognier's. Viognier's are uh, one of my favorite whites. Um, Pinot Gris, I think, is the other one. But I like Viognier's. And I'm just, oh, I'm just twirling this. Steve must like pineapple because uh, I get a lot of pineapple smell on, on the two whites that I've tasted so far. I get a lot of pineapple. Okay, so this one, I have pineapple. It almost smells kind of thick, and I think this might be an unfiltered wine because it looks a little cloudy, and that would tell me that it's unfiltered. Um... Oh, it just has, like, I want to be on a beach with a big glass of this in my hand and maybe a straw because I don't think I could drink it. I just need a straw. It's pineapple-y. It just smells so luscious that, mmm. And I can't remember if this one is sweet or not, so let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Now, when you taste an unfiltered wine you will know it. This one has a little hoppiness taste to it, you know, like a beer. Um, very smooth, though. Maybe it's slightly citrus, not overpowering. This one is um, definitely not sweet. I'm going to just say it's not sweet. I don't think it's sweet. Um, I just did the... Um, uh, Vino Bianca di Salida, which was Viognier and Chardonnay mix, and that one was slightly sweet. This one is not sweet. If you get sweet, it's just from the, probably the imagination of the pineapple that you're smelling. Very easy to drink. I'm gonna, I'm anxious to try this with my barbecue, because it's got a little zing to it, so if the barbecue has a little zing, it'll probably offset it. Um, but this is really good. It, you know, for, for people who like beer, <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, you know, hopefully Steve doesn't shoot me for this, but this one has more of a beer flavor to it. And it's not a bad beer flavor because I'm not a big beer drinker, but this actually is good. It, it kind of, it's like a, it's like a, I don't know, big girl, big boy wine. It's just very, it's very warm and fuzzy kind of thing feeling with a white wine so go out there uh salida colorado go see steve his uh winery is right off highway 50 and he will be at uh the palisade wine festival in september like the middle of september and then they are going to do a uh salida mountain fest um over the labor day weekend so if you have husbands um and or I should say, someone may fish in your family and someone may not. And that someone that may not may like to drink wine. So get a hotel room, let that person who fish go fish, and you just come to the festival and enjoy the wine. And that way two people are happy at the same time. You cannot go wrong with that. So again, this is the 2009 Vino Sol or <laughs> Viognier from Vino um, Salida Cellars. I'm tired. I did the incline today. I'm beat. So anyway, until next time, you guys have a great weekend and I will see you next time with another glass of wine. Hey, I made a rhyme. Check you later. Bye. Cheers.